morning guys. Hi, I'm Lori Winslow and I'm with Rain or Shine Chalk Design. Um, I am an independent designer with Chalk Couture. Um, and Chalk Couture is an awesome company um, that, good morning Linda, that makes these awesome transfers that I'll show you in a minute and some amazing um, chalk paste. Uh, it's not paint, but it's, it's, it works like paint. So this morning, um, I am going to work on the Club Couture uh, transfer. So yesterday in my mail, I received my monthly Chalk Couture. Uh, designers are part of this club, and you can be part of it too. So I'm gonna open this up, and this is the transfer we're gonna work on today. So if you didn't see it yesterday or days before, um, it's a globe and it says let's get lost so super cute I'm gonna work on that today I'm gonna make it on the, the Odette board let me show you what we're doing today so this is our Odette board um, and it has this cool design there are several different sizes of this board um, I don't believe this is the largest I think this is the medium size board I'm gonna flip you guys down so that you can see the project less of me, more of what we need to see. Mm, so let me get the transfer opened real quick. So this is a new transfer. Um, the first time I've used it, I'm excited to put my own spit on it. That's what's really cool about Chalk Couture is that you can be creative um, or you can do just something very standard. It's kind of up to you. That's why we're called designers because we get to design cool, fun things. But anybody can be a designer, right? We all have that little bit of artistic in us. Um, I was considering using this as my surface today. Um, and I think I will do it on this surface as well. Um, I think it would look cool to put this inside and maybe, you know, put inside, back behind it, some fun travel-like things. Um, you would be able to see through some of the transfer. It might be kind of fun on that surface. So I may try that another day and show you another way that you could do this transfer. So my overall plan is to put the transfer on. I have some cute ribbon that I want to put across the bottom. And then I have a couple of cute things that I want to add. So I have this little tag um, that just came from Michael's. And I found this um, a while back. I found this little, it's like a little wood piece. Um, you see them around and it says adventure on it and it has a compass. So I thought that'd be perfect. And when I bought it, I didn't know what I was going to use it for, but I thought I'd use it eventually. So I think I'm going to put it at the top of the tag like that. There's a little hole in the both pieces that I can tie onto my ribbon. And then in the summer minis, um, we got this little Vespa. And it says go, go, go. So I thought I'd put that at the bottom of the tag. Um, that's kind of a fun, makes me think of vacation. That's usually when we get to do things like that in my house. It's usually on vacation. So this makes me think of vacationing. Um, if you're on, make sure you hop on and say, make sure you say hi. So I know that you're here. Sometimes I see your name pop up at the bottom, um, but sometimes your name doesn't pop up at the bottom if you haven't liked uh, or followed my page, it won't show that. So I'm just gonna paint this little wooden piece um, white. Um, I think it'll go well with my piece. If it's, this is white, so I'd like to have a little bit of color. I don't want it to get lost on the tag. I want it to kind of pop off the tag. So thinking about vacation, I know with our situation, we aren't really doing vacations, um, but if you could, where would you get lost to? If you want to put that in the comments, I'd love to know where you'd like to go on vacation. I know my Kids and I started going, we've gone to Chelan for years and years, but um, last year I rented a an Airbnb and we the whole family stayed in Chelan um, and it was a great week and we were hoping to do that again this week or this, this summer. 
Um, and my kids rented a place for us this time. And right now we're not sure if we're going or not. So kind of bummed about that. My son's church camp is not happening, so he's kind of bummed about that. And me too. I was supposed to cook for one of the weeks at camp. So it's a local church camp up on Hood Canal. Um, hi, Alicia. Good morning. I assume I'm saying good morning to the grandkids too. Good morning, Maya and Kai. I'm painting a little piece this morning. It's a little wooden piece that's been sitting around here. You guys have probably seen it on my desk. It was just waiting for the right project and the right project happened along. Thanks for saying good morning. All right, so I'm just gonna give that a nice little coat of white. I may wanna paint it one more time if I want it to really pop off um, I'm hoping it's going to pop off the tag. But yeah, that white really sets it off. So I may want to paint it one more time, but I know it'll dry quick, so that should be fine. All right, so let's go ahead and do the little Vespa. It'll just take a second, um, and this is going to be part of the tag that I want to hang off to make it look like it's hanging off the globe. I was considering how to make it hang off the globe, like, do I want to um, do I want to hot glue it? But I don't really want to hot glue it to my board. Um, so I think I'm going to put a ribbon around and hold it um, at the bottom. I wish that I had um, some ribbon that you know had something to do with travel on it, um, but I didn't have anything like that, so. I went with what I had. So I'm going to make the Vespa this yellow. Um, I have my ribbon that I'm going to use is a green and yellow plaid. Um, I wanted some color. The globe, of course, is going to be green and blue. Um, All right, so my paste is a little thick. I noticed the yellow has been like that for a while, but I think I'll add a little bit more water. I just don't want to add too much water. If I add too much, um, then it, the paste will be a little loose and I might not get as crisp of a transfer. But I also don't want it to be too thick um, because then it doesn't go through the screen very well. And it tends to pull out of the screen because it's too dry. And it's pretty creamy as you can see when I stir it. It doesn't look dry and clumpy. It's not running like a ribbon, um, but it because it moves pretty well, I think it'll be okay. All right, so I'm gonna do this where you can see. I'm My little piece of my tag is gonna go right there. So I thought the Vespa would look cute right there. That just reminds me of, you know, the fun th kinds of things that you do on vacation. You might rent a Vespa, you might rent a, a, a Sea-Doo. Those are the kinds of things that we've always liked to do on vacation with our kids and for ourselves. So the question of the day is, where would you go if you could get lost this summer and you didn't have travel restrictions, uh, where would you go? Where would be your, your place to travel? So our silk screens make this process of what we used to call stenciling. Um, we call them stand transfers um, because it transfers the image. But this silk screen makes this process so simple that my grandkids, who are five and six, do it with ease. Um, they 
They've tried this several times and they do really well. All right, and I'll lift up my transfer. And voila, I'm just gonna put this in some water. So our transfers get cleaned up just with water, which I love that I don't have to have some clean, some kind of special cleaner to clean them up. All right, I'll lift that up so you can see it. So my little Vespa says, go, go, go. Good morning, Hannah, glad you joined us. So my tag's gonna look like that. I'm gonna have my little white uh, adventure tag and then go, go, go. So I'm thinking this probably needs one more coat of white, so, but I'm gonna let it dry. And I'll set these both aside. So those are our tags that we're gonna use. <clears throat> So again, this is the Odette board. It's one of our boards. <laughs> Maya, I'm so glad you'd go to Disney World. That sounds like a great family vacation. And Kai, when you wake up, you tell me, when you're ready to talk about it, you tell me where you would go on vacation, okay? I think my answer is I'd go anywhere that you guys go. <laughs> That's a grandma answer, huh? All right, so um, my transfer is going to go right onto my board. Um, this is a uh, chalk couture board, so I don't have to wax it. If I use another kind of board, um, I always wax it because I don't want my transfer to be really hard to pull off because then I might stretch my transfer. And I'm going to use, let's see, for my colors, I'm going to use this uh, Spring Zing and blue jay so i have a dark blue but i really wanted this to be kind of i want it to pop so i want it to look like a, a world you know but i also want it to really pop off so i'm going to use these two bright blue and greens and then for the base i'm going to use our storm it's our darker gray if i had like gold i would use that it would look really good i just don't have that color right now it's a color that I want to get, so I'm going to work on that. So I'm going to grab my fuzzing cloth. And again, this is the Club Couture Transfer. Um, the way the club works is um, for $20 each month, you receive a new transfer, and you guys receive three chalk singles. So I'll show you what those look like real quick. So designers don't receive the chalk um, singles. I was thinking yesterday that I would show you how, how to save them and all that, how they work. But I don't have the right colors to use today, so I don't really want to open them up. But these are the chalk singles. This is our Couture Coral, which I've used before on here. The pink, really strong pink color. Um, so these are just individual little chalks. But don't be fooled, there is a lot of chalk in there and you know it doesn't take very much chalk to do the project. I'll show you this morning that it just won't take very much chalk for us to complete our project. So designers don't get the individual um, paste because they know designers have their own colors. Um, but these are sent to club members so that they have the right colors to make their project, which I think is awesome. And then when you're done with those little individual packets, all you need to do is fold it down and then tape the ends um, really well. Make sure it's like taped all the way around. You just want a nice seal. And then I would put that in a Ziploc bag. Um, it does come with one Ziploc bag, so that's definitely, I would put it in a little zip, zip bag and keep it airtight, as airtight as you can. Good morning, Shelly, glad you joined us. So I'm gonna fuzz my transfer. I'm getting lots of fuzz from this fuzzing cloth. If you don't have one of the chalk couture's, just use a towel. You can even use your clothes. You have fuzz on your clothes. We're just trying to get a little bit of fuzzy on the back because these are sticky, especially when they're new, they're really sticky. Then when I get ready to clean up, I wash it off and I get all that fuzz off the back so that it's clean and dry and ready for the next project. 
Okay, so I'm going to center this up as best I can. It may take me a second. I want it to be pretty level. I like the Odette board. I love that it has that interest around the edge. Um, I think I'm going to leave it about where it's at. It's a little bit high, but I'm going to add, remember I'm going to add this tag hanging off the bottom, and I want it to hang kind of like that. So I think that'll be a good, a good position. If you just dropped in, make sure you say hi. Our question this morning is where would you like to get lost to? I know that we are in a position where we really can't go and do like we want to do, um, but where would you go if you could? My granddaughter has already said she would go to Disney World, so I wanted to show you the back of the Odette board. So it has a hanger, came this way, um, and it also has a hanger if you wanted to hang it this direction. So our boards are really nice, um, nice quality boards. Um, they have that great surface. So when I am when I'm tired of this, I can just spray it with water and I can wash it off. It will come off and it won't be. Um, it's not permanent. I I love that about this product. All right, so we are going to do some green and blue. We're going to try to create, you know, a, a globe looking effect. Um, we'll have to see how artistic I am this morning. Um, but first I need to check out my paste. I know I haven't used my green in a while. It's been over in my uh, little rolling cart. Same with the blues. I probably should have spritzed those last night and let the water absorb. I notice it works really well if you if you do that, uh, as soon as you're done with your chalk, so like today when I'm done with my yellow, I'm gonna give it a spritz before I put the lid on. So that gives a nice, um, it gives a really nice way to, the next time I open it, it'll be a little more fresh. So these are pretty thick. Uh, it's it's natural that that happens with our chalks. So if you get chalks and they're really thick, don't panic. Um, just know that you're going to add some water. And if you get the little individual packets, some of those are super creamy when you get them and some of them are dry. So just know that that's part of the process. Just like a painter has to, you know, manage their paints. Um, or whatever pro kind of product they use for their art. Um, if you're gonna do chalk, you're gonna have to manage your chalk. It's nice when it comes out perfect <laughs> and it's creamy and it's ready to go. Ooh, Kai's gonna go camping. Nice. So Maya wants to go to Disney World and Kai wants to go camping. Awesome. Well, I think if I could go anywhere, I'd go to Chelan with my family for our annual trip. So, I still have my fingers crossed that we're going to get to go in August sometime. But, I don't know that that's the case. Good morning, Christy. Glad you're on. Thanks for joining us. I am working on our club transfer. So this is one of the options for doing Chalk Couture. I just want you to know guys though, you don't have to join a club. There's no membership fee. If you ever wanna just purchase something on the website, don't be intimidated. Just know that there's no hidden fees. Um, it's just a regular website. You can pick what you like, um, order it and and that's that. Um, there are a few other perks for club members. Club members do get free ship, or they're not free shipping, they get $5 shipping. So it doesn't matter how big your package is, um, you'll get $5 shipping every time you order, even if you order several times a month. Not that you will, but just so you know. Um, and I don't get $5 shipping. Designers get charged regular shipping, so, um, 
just want you to know that that is one of the perks. Uh, and there is always a monthly special um, that goes with your Club Couture. Um, in the past, they've had um, like half price on certain transfers, uh, and that just lasts for the month. Um, last month, there was a Kickstarter, was something that you only got when you joined Club Couture. So there are great specials for that if that interests you. All right, let's get started. Let's be a little creative. So I want to create, you know, kind of a land mass, kind of recreate. A, it's not going to look exactly like the world, um, but I want to do something, you know, worldish looking. So I will do my, I'm thinking I will do the green land and then I'll pull it up and I'll let it dry a little bit. I probably have to dry it, lay it back down and then do the blue. All right. And then I'll do the gray. So if you just popped on, um, this morning, our question is, where would you like to get lost to? We're not able to really travel like we want. And, but if you could go anywhere um, right now, where would you go? I'm going to turn this a little bit towards me. I think you guys can see it just fine. But I want to have it angled towards me. I really need to break down, and there's a multi-purpose tool. I really need to break down and buy that. It's kind of a long piece, and it has a, a little flat, narrow um, band. I think that would be probably really good for creating this. Um, I've been told that you can cut these. Why don't I try to cut this? You guys can watch. Hopefully I don't lose a finger. If I do lose a finger, call 911 for me. Um, I think I'm going to make a little bit smaller piece. Oh yeah, it cuts real easy. I want to make a smaller piece so that I can really get into some of these little parts. So I just very easily cut that in half. So now I have a really small piece that I can use so that I can feel like I can control it a little bit better. Wherever wherever the chalk is, it's going to be on there. All right, I'll quit talking and get some action here. So let's get some paste on here. We'll work on making, I guess, North America. Try to do the classic look. Of course, it's going to be very forgiving because it's covered up by the let's get lost. Boy, this is not going to look like North America much, guys. All right, so I have a, glo a blob. <laughs> I have a large blob. Let's see. Let's get that. Let's get that a little bit bigger over here. I probably should have thought about this a little bit. The actual making of this <laughs> green blob. All right, and then we've got South America down here. I know I'm probably way off, guys. But hopefully we get the idea. And maybe we're getting lost on a different planet that has different continents. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I'm going to do the green, and remember, I can redo it. Yay! Um, good thing I don't teach fourth grade, fifth grade, where you have to actually look like you know what you're doing with continents, right? Put a little bit of green down here at the bottom, right? I do really know what the map looks like. It's just not very easy to control this. Stuff. So maybe you need to get it and then you can try it and have this fun. All right, let's put a little bit of a con a little bit of the Arctic up here. I do love the transfer. Tell me if you love the transfer. I think it's a super cute idea. All right, we're going to jump across the pond. Now we're going to have some really big continents. 
lots of land over here. Got Africa down here. See, I do know. We've got some of those countries up there that hang down. Probably some more up here. <laughs> I know we got like Newfoundland and all that stuff up here. It's going to look a mess as far as continents go, but hopefully it looks fun as a transfer goes. So everywhere there's this green, that's where it's not going to, this dark green is where it's not going, nothing is going to go through. That's my silk screen, my positive part of my silk screen. All right, I'll just curve that down. I'm going to cheat a little bit and use this edge over here. But cutting that squeegee in to a smaller piece really worked. Maya loves it. Thanks, Maya. I love my cheerleaders. Maya and Kai are great cheerleaders. They give Grandma lots of positive feedback, always. All right, so I'm thinking it's probably getting starting to get dry over here, so I'm going to try to finish this up. All right. Um, Saturday, we are going to do our uh, board and pillar club. So if you missed out on that this month, you could definitely check it out. We'll do it again next month. All right, so I'm going to lift this up and make sure I'm not getting the chalk dried up in my silk screen. Lay that down. Might have to wash off my board a little bit. It may get some green on there, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to grab my blow dryer. And you can see we're beginning to get the let's get lost. And it dries really quick, so that's one of the nice things about it. Okay, it doesn't look like the world at all, but hopefully you guys will give me a pass. Okay, now we want to make sure we're laying this down flat. I can see a big air bubble down at the bottom, so I need to pull it. Pull it. I can line it up pretty well with what I can see. But now I do have a little bit of chalk on the surface, so it's a little, a little tricky getting it to lay back down after you've um, done some chalking on it. I don't think I've done one quite like this, so. Now you could easily just do like um, the messy technique and just do some blue and some green and you could just kind of go all over. And that would work great. Especially if it's your first transfer. All right, let's get some blue on there. Let's get our water. All right, so we'll add some blue. And I'm just going to go right up against that green and I'll get a new squeegee. There's my other half. That's what I wanted. Yeah, I got a little bit of you can see I got a little bit of green, but that's okay. Um, because it'll come right off. Okay, here we go. Let's get this blue on there. 
So I think my grandkids are the only ones who told us where they would go on vacation. Is everybody else feeling like they're vacationed out? Like you can't even think of a place because of everything that's going on? I can kind of relate to that. I kind of want to just be home, be able to go and do what I want to do without any uh, masks and craziness. I'd take that for a vacation. Just get our country kind of back to normal. We all want a vacation right here at home. All right. Well, this is an interesting transfer, having this piece to do um, like this. So the, the club transfers come out um, the 5th and 6th. They announce them on the 1st so of each month, so we get to see them. And then they start shipping them the 5th and the 6th. So... Like I said, I received mine yesterday, and I believe they ship from Utah, so we're pretty close to Utah here in Washington, so it doesn't take too long to get to get them. Let's take them some chalk. My chalk is a little dry; it doesn't spread quite as doesn't go quite as far. So another good reason, I guess, to keep your chalk. Um, liquefied, keep it misted with water. Try to do this before my chalk dries. I kind of like that it's a little bit of a challenge though. It's kind of a different kind of transfer. Because normally it's just wipe on, wipe off, right? You don't have a lot to think about um, on the chalking part. It'll be fun to see what different designers come up with um, with these transfers. That's one of the fun things about being a designer is you get put into some different groups that um, you get to see everybody's creativity. And some people are really, really creative in those groups, which is really fun to see. We share ideas and we're okay with other people um, using similar designs or kind of using our design as a springboard for their ideas. I think that's really fun. Whew. All right, guys, we're almost there. Didn't realize this was going to be a chalkathon. Hopefully it's worth the wait. So what are you guys up to today? Who's got something to do today? I've got some errands to take care of. I've got a family member to pick up at the airport. That kind of thing. So for me, it's just kind of an errand day. Yesterday, um, my husband and I worked really hard on weeding. We had gotten behind a little bit on the corn, well, a lot of it, on some of our corn. We had started weeding it, and then we kind of wore ourselves out. <laughs> and so we went back at it yesterday, and it looks glorious today looked glorious yesterday when we finished so it's nice to have that taken care of we got um, we pulled up our onions and our our beets weren't doing very well and our carrots weren't doing very well so we pulled those up yesterday and we'll use what we have of those and there's my there's my tray um, and then we're going to till it and we're going to replant 
Ooh, I'm excited to see this. All right, guys, let's see. Ah. Well, I think I like it. It doesn't look exactly like the world, but what do you guys think? That is a cool transfer. It took a little patience. It took a little doing, but I love it. All right, let's dry it again and get this part of our transfer. Dry, ready to go. Okay, Whew, that felt like it took a while. Maybe it was just tense for me because I wanted it to look good. All right, I think we're pretty dry. You can kind of tell when the chalk looks dry. It gets just kind of a, a dry look. So I don't need to push that down really hard on this world part. I just need to push down this part that I'm gonna do next. The little holder, globe holder. I don't know, is there an official word for that? Thanks, guys. I like it too. I thought that green and blue just pops together. Of course, we're Mariners, Seahawks fans, and they all have green and blue, so Seattle people are fans of green and blue anyway. All right, let's grab the storm. And I thought it would look nice for, um, you can already tell it's going to do some water. I thought it would look nice for the holder. Um, they do have some, Chalk Couture does have some um, silver and gold and copper. They're kind of a shimmer color. And that would look really pretty for this. They just are not in my... Um, I don't have those in my product line yet. I just haven't gotten those. All right, let's mix this up. Now this doesn't look nearly as dry as the other colors did, but you saw that they worked pretty well. Even though they were pretty dry, um, they were manageable. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit around this edge. All right, I'm gonna use one of my bigger squeegees. Since I can go side to side on this one, it won't be so difficult. It's a small space, but I can come at it from a different angle. And I don't have to be as exact. I've got a little fudge area here in between the globe and where I'm working, so. But I think I'm gonna have to put that multi-tool tool on my list of things to get to. I've got a little bit of a list of things that I want to get, make my projects better. So I've been thinking about a get together to do our, um, our porch leaners. Um, I definitely want to do that. So I'm going to propose some dates. So if you're interested in doing that, um, look on the site later today. Um, I kind of want to look at my calendar and see what's going on over the next week or so. And I'll propose a few days. And um, if we can all get together on the same day, that's great, but it probably won't happen. So I will offer... Um, I'll offer a few different days. And so basically, um, I'll ask you on that post if you are going to need supplies like boards, because um, if you need boards, I can do that. I can get the boards for you and I would just ask for the cost of the board. I wouldn't ask, wouldn't make any money on that. Um, 
and then you'd have to tell me what kind of board you want. So I've got, we've done several different porch leaners. Um, so you can tell me what you need as far as supplies. And of course I would have the chalk supplies. That's not a problem. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands off a little bit. And as you can see, my board's got a little bit of color down here at the bottom, but as I promised, this is our chalk couture board and it will wash right off. I'm using a Clorox wipe. You could just use a white, a wet towel. It would come off with just water too. But this is what I have here in my workspace. I have the wet wipes and they're handy. So I just want to make sure my board is nice and clean. Okay, we're going to let that dry just a tad. Um, I'm noticing that I have a little bit of bleed with my blue. I'm going to show you. But I think that's because of the, um, the fact that my paste is kind of dry and I had to add water this morning. So some of those letters have a little bit of blue bleed. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, Kai wants to go to Bullwinkles. Oh, that'd be a great place to go too, Kai. So you'd go there for a vacation. Would you like would you like sleep at Bullwinkles or would you stay somewhere else and then just go back again? There is a hotel, I think, right next door. So that, that could work, Kai. Good morning, Alan. Thanks for joining. Everybody who's on here, thanks for supporting my page and joining me. It's awesome to have your guys' support. So while this dries, I'm gonna give this one more coat. So if you didn't hop, if you weren't on here earlier, so this is my plan. I'm going to put a ribbon through here. The ribbon's gonna go around the board and then it's gonna look like that. So the little Vespa says, go, go, go. We're talking about vacation. Where would you go on vacation? If you could go anywhere, that's our question today. So if you just hopped on, tell me where you would go on vacation if you could go anywhere. If there wasn't any issue with going, if you didn't have any money issue to go wherever you wanted to go, um, or just where would you go with your family? Or with whoever. Vacations can be done with in lots of ways lots of different people so I'm just putting a white coat on this it was just kind of a wood look on the back and I knew I wanted to put it against that um, brown tag so I wanted it to be a different color so it would pop off a little bit more so far I think Maya and Kai are the only ones who've told me where they would go if they could go anywhere on vacation Guys picked two places and Maya picked Disney World. Kai wants to go camping and he wants to go to Bullwinkles. Both great choices. All right, so while these two things get a little more dry, let's work on some ribbon. So these are kind of the colors I was thinking. Um, it has that same green um, and I thought since my Vespa I chose yellow so that it would kind of match in with my color scheme here. Um, so let's see. I think I do want this uh, bright bow. So let's do this plaid. I was kind of hedging my bet thinking, well, maybe we want something more subtle. I really like this little gray, um, but it's not going to add a lot to what we've got going on. I think I'll use one of these, either the blue or the yellow, to actually hold my little tags on. So you can tell me, what do you think? Do you think that bright pop of blue, or do you think the yellow to go with the, with the ribbon? What do you think? What color should I make to hold the little tag? The tag's going to have to hold on with a different ribbon, so think about what color tag that ribbon that should be while I get this ribbon ready to go. So 
So my ribbon's going to wrap around the board. And I'm just going to make it stop like it's going to be, it's going to look, I'm hoping it'll look like, give you the idea that it's wrapped around this. I couldn't wrap it around that, obviously. So that's kind of my thinking, how I want it to look. It'll give a little interest um, to the bottom of the board. This is really the focus and, and we'll see how it looks. Nice thing about tying it this way is that I, if I don't think it looks great, I'll change it. So I was thinking it doesn't need like a much of a bow. I just wanted to give a little color, a little interest. And I just want it to kind of be a knot right here. And we'll let the edges hang off. Um, the ed you know, the ends of the bow. We'll just let them go off to the side. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. <clears throat> and I'll just dovetail my bow so I get those nice little edges. And I'm using a wired ribbon so I can fuss with it and kind of make it look like I want it to look. All right, so that's kind of how it's gonna look when it's sitting up. Got our bow, there's the top. All right, and we'll add our tag. Let's see if we're dry here. Need some light, Ooh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna grab the dryer, guys. Let's hit it with a little heat. And a little dry. Whoops, it didn't turn off. All right, I've got a little paint on my edge here. I think I will get the wet paint off. All right, so if you have somebody in your life who's crafty, who likes to do um, crafty type stuff, this would be a great, um, a great gift for them. Something that anybody can pick up. Um, like I said, my five and six year old grandkids do this with me and um, they make really cute things. It's not hard to do. It makes kind of everybody creative. I think that's one of the things I love about it. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this a different way. I think I'm gonna do one of those kind of cheaters. I make a loop on this side, poke it through. You know, poke it through this hole in the compass. Put it through like that. So now we have our hanger all together with our tag. All right, what do you think guys? Think that'll work? <clears throat> all right, and then we'll just tie this right. I'm gonna tie it under this part of the bow. So this is the part where you get creative. Um, you add your own little touch. This is where you really see your part of the design. The transfer is the fun part. That's kind of the standard part. And then whatever you add extra is, you know, your part.
All right, guys, so there we have our finished product. So again, I use the Odette board, that's from Chuck Couture. Um, it's in the shop. There are several different sizes of this board. Um, the exact same pattern around the edges. I use the transfer from Chuck Couture, that's the Club Couture for this month. And then of course I just use some various things. Um, ribbon from Hobby Lobby, um, gift tags, I think those came from Michaels. Um, I think this was maybe at Walmart. So these are just things that I've picked up and kind of held on to that I think I can use over and over again. All right, well, thanks for joining me, guys. Um, it is Monday, and it's not Monday. Uh, on Monday, I will be drawing a name out of my share bucket. So if you are willing to um, share my... Uh, video or share any post that I um, do. I will put your name in my bucket and then on Monday I will draw a name and that person gets um, one finished product from my shop for the week. So anything that I've made over the week you are welcome to say I want that. So you could even say I want this and I will send it to you. I'm meeting up with a friend this week and she is gonna or today I'm going to meet up with a friend that shared and she um, decided to get some of the 4th of July things. So um, anyway, if you haven't shared, please do that. If you haven't liked or followed my page, um, I'd really appreciate it if you do that. It helps my page grow. Um, anyway, thanks guys. I appreciate it and get out there and make it a great day. Bye guys. Bye Maya. Bye Kai. Love you guys.